Hey guys, <laughs> what is going on? Bleaker here, and today we are back with another episode of FTB. Oh shit. Very, very nicely done. Off camera, Nathan and Adam were busy doing things, stuff, setting up, setting up a whole bunch Ouch. of good starting stuff, so when we get to certain points in the game, there's going to be a lot less off camera work and a lot more. Why are you setting your. To the water. <laughs> Adam? Yeah? This is why we can't have nice things. Okay, so off camera, Adam and Nathan were busy doing stuff, so they set up us another portal on this island. Oh, God, I hope my frame rates come back soon. Good God, this is brutal. Yeah, all the lighting effects do that to a shitty computer. Ouch. Let's just crank the render distance down a few chunks. I think it's something to do with fraps. But anyways, so... And then they set up... What did you guys set up over here? Uh, I just built a killing pen set up over here so we can farm cows. I think they're called mushrooms. No, we found cows. Oh, nice. What else you got? And this is... I'm not entirely sure. I think this is Batania. This could also be a portal to the Twilight Forest at some point. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's going into Britannia. Eh. Well, we'll uh, leave him to his device. Are, is he ever going to come on and join us? Yeah, he's just got schoolwork. Oh, fair enough. And they also set up a... Forge. A smeltery. So we have the capability of when we get a little further along here to actually go into... Oh, what's that mod? Tinker's Construct. Tinker's Construct, yeah. Hammers and stuff. So this episode, we got a few objectives here. One, we're going to begin... We're going to... We're going to begin planning and building on the powerhouse. The ultimate... Our current objective right now is to get power to our island. We have this small, minuscule little setup of a generator, a macerator, a bat box, or Adam set up an extractor, and an electric furnace. So, we, we picked out a spot. And you, would you like to show them? We agreed to do it over here, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they also set up another bridge over there. We'll be decking out bridges later with rail cart and... I think we can make a fancier bridge later on. Yeah. That's later, that's later problems, though. But yeah, fancy bridges. This bridge we'll eventually get rid of because we're going to bridge these land masses pretty soon. We'll probably do a montage episode for when we bridge that. And then to the other island beyond, beyond that, because I don't think that's... As I believe, that is within the rules. Uh, bridge, five wide, rail system... We can expand our landmass to include other islands. Yes. So there is one other island off in the distance. And we can expand our landmass. Just as long as we do not touch the land... The main land mass over there. So, you know, we did discuss this earlier as well. The, um, three... The three deep rule. Right? Yeah. Remember that whole discussion on the debate between five or one and three and whatnot? Correct. Good. So... We also came to the consensus that it was within the rules to not have the material be the same throughout all three layers. So what we're actually going to do here is, let me just confer with the rules here. Let's get an official ruling. Um, no intentional. Material must be at least three deep. We never specified what the material is, just as long as it's three deep. And I'm pretty sure there's, um, you know, the spirit of the, should have throw threw in like a rule six, like obey the spirit of the rules. So we've determined that we're actually going to set up a cobblestone generator. Generate as much cobble as we possibly can. 
do a the bottom layer, the middle layer as cobble, and the third layer as dirt. So where do you want to set up the cobblestone generator? I don't care. I don't want to set it up in farmland. Mm. Why don't you put set it, it over central to semi central to our buildings? Why don't I put it over here? Yeah, because it could burn our house down. Okay. That's not a good idea. Let's Why don't I put it by the nether portal? Let's do it right here, because we're going to be pretty... Well, we can always pick it up and move it, but I think right here is going to be pretty good. Can okay. you get me a... Can you make me a switch and grab me some redstone? While I get this initial setup? Yep. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with how a cobblestone generator in Feed the Beast works, it's actually quite simple. All you need is a block breaker and a timer. And, of course, a switch and stuff. And can you make me a, a chest as well? I forgot to do that. So what we'll do here first is we'll set up the water right here. See, that'll flow down that hole that I set up. And we'll do the lava. I'm actually just going to set the lava up right here. That'll flow. And when it makes contact with the water, we get one cobblestone. You see how I did it? Yep. Alright, pretty straightforward and simple. So what we're going to do here is, have you ever worked with a block breaker before? Nope. It's really quite simple. I set it up wrong. That sounds like typical you. Okay. It's really quite simple. We'll just set the block breaker up, so that way, if you see... Oh, shit, sorry. Should have had my sword out. So you see how we got the hole there? That's our going to be our output. So then when I put the timer... Oh, I have the timer set up the wrong way. So we set up the timer. See if it does it. Ah, it's not doing it. Do you have that redstone? Yeah, I have redstone. May I borrow it? It's been a while since I've set up one of these. I think I can actually get away with it if I put it... It's been such a long time and I can't figure out where it left. You want a lever? We got it. So now we have a cobblestone generator. And in here we can go into the menu and set, you know, intervals and stuff. Right now we have it at every two seconds. That's default. I'm going to bump it up about half a second here just so that when it ticks over we for sure get a cobblestone. Yep, and now we have the ability to start and stop it as well. Neat, huh? Yep. So there, now we get cobblestone. Did you throw cobblestone in there? Yes. Nice. Okay, so we're actually going to go over here. We're going to set up the area and, you know... So we're going to go off camera, we're going to set up the area, take care of a couple other small housekeeping things, and when we come back, we should have a area ready for construction. I figure, set up this set up this episode, we'll construction the next. Agreed. Yeah, alrighty. Hopefully we can get Nathan on here. Alright guys, so we'll hang around. What's going to be like hours for us will only be mere seconds for you. All right, guys, off camera, we did get it all expanded out here. We also did expand this little side area here for um, Adam Farms, I think is what we'll just call it from now on. And we did expand the cobblestone generator a little bit more. So, uh, Adam, any final remarks before we sign off for the evening? Not really. All right, guys, when we come back next time, we will... Probably begin construction of the... Yeah, we'll be beginning construction of the powerhouse. Hopefully we can finish the powerhouse. If not, 
That'll be the episode after, and then it's going to be a matter of moving machines and getting power turned on. So until next time, guys, this has been Bleaker and Amp. Be seeing you guys.